Welcome, good morning. Queensland is preparing for what could be its worst cyclone in history, with Cyclone Yassi now upgraded to a Category 5 storm. The system is powering towards the North Queensland coast, bringing with it wind gusts of nearly 300 kilometres an hour and two and a half metre tidal surge. The cyclone's expected to make landfall between Cairns and Innisfail at about 10 o'clock tonight. Airports are mostly closed in the region. The mayor of Townsville, Les Turrell, says the mass evacuations are well underway. Town's closed down, schools are closed from today. Um, I I doubt there'll be any businesses open uh, much more than 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, yeah, most uh, firms have sent their staff home. Uh, the council sent uh, all of their people uh, home and said don't come today. Meteorologist Magdalena Rose from the Weather Channel says Cyclone Yassi could cause damage to more than 600 kilometres when it hits land. She says the cyclone could also bring up to 400 millimetres of rain in just 12 hours. Anywhere where the eye of the cyclone hits or to the south of the cyclone is where we're going to see the worst conditions. So we can expect destructive wind gusts. They're wind gusts over 125 kilometres an hour. We can expect those to start to develop between Cooktown and Ingham um, already throughout this morning and, and later this afternoon. Very destructive wind gusts, which are gusts of over 280 k's an hour. Prime Minister Julia Gillard says Cyclone Yassi will be a horrible blow to Queenslanders still recovering from the summer floods. As Gillard says, it's another big blow to Queensland on top of everything. She says the Australian Defence Force has assisted in the evacuation of hospital patients and residential 